We're going to begin this hour, though, in Washington, because we are just a few hours away from a highly anticipated solo news conference from President Biden. This will be his first solo news conference in eight months as he faces growing questions from within his own party about the viability of his candidacy. This afternoon, the Biden campaign spoke behind closed doors with Senate Democrats, explaining why it sees a pathway to victory in November. This all comes as President Biden wraps up the final day of hosting this year's NATO summit in Washington. Let's bring in NBC News White House correspondent Aaron Gilchrist with us. Um, Aaron, there's a, there's a lot riding on this news conference. You have to imagine that most of the reporters in the room are going to want to ask questions that the president maybe doesn't really want to answer right now about his political future. Yeah, I think you're right. The line of questioning the president can expect would be one where these reporters are going to ask about his fitness, both physically and mentally, to continue to run this campaign for the next four months and to serve a second term as president for the next four years. Of course, we know that the White House has told us the president has been preparing for this news conference today. He likely will want to talk about the NATO summit that is wrapping up today and the work that the United States has done to shore up that organization as well as support Ukraine. He'll want to talk about very likely some domestic policy issues as well. But the press corps, uh, which is not known for throwing softballs in these sorts of settings, will want to ask the president about uh, whether he can uh, uh, sort of make it through the next several months of campaigning that typically in this time of year would start to intensify in, in a presidential campaign uh, and why he thinks that he is the best person to uh, go up against Donald Trump in November, despite the calls in the Democratic Party in particular for the president to step aside. There have been a handful of them publicly. There have been private conversations as well uh, that we've learned about where people are, are asking the president to step aside. For his part, Caitlin Zinkley, the president sa has said he is in it until the very end and he believes that he can beat Donald Trump in November and serve another four years. And Aaron, while we have you, NBC News has learned the Biden campaign is working behind the scenes to see how Vice President Harris could do in a head-to-head -head election, general election matchup with former President Trump. That's according to a source familiar with the decision. What more are you learning? Right. The source has told us that the campaign is quietly assessing how the vice president would stand up in that head-to-head -head matchup with former President Trump. And as we understand it from this person, this is really being done as a result of uh, President Trump uh, talking more about uh, Vice President Harris, ramping up his attacks on Vice President Harris when he's out on the campaign trail. We understand that this survey is going to be done uh, at some point this week. And uh, while it may not necessarily be uh, thinking about uh, thinking about replacing President Biden uh, as the person at the top of the ticket, this sort of a, a survey could be uh, informative, at least, to the Biden campaign about how uh, Vice President Harris might do were that to happen. Although, uh, as we said, the campaign and every person who's spoken on behalf of the campaign publicly uh, and, and behind the scenes has said to us that uh, the president is in it and Vice President Harris has his back. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.